So, what was the expected CTC for a pressure prospect you Sachin mentioned the range? Yeah, CTC would be somewhere in seven figures. All right. So, can I expect between fifteen to twenty-five LPA? Some all right. So, next what was that stipend? So, what is the stip expected stipend during your internship, uh, Sachin? Yeah, stipend was uh, somewhere I would say between forty to seventy k. So, who is Sachin? Yeah, hi everyone. So I am basically from Nainital Uttarakhand, but currently I am in the Punjab, and I completed my graduation from here only, Slight okay. Gongwal, which is in Sangro district. Okay. And then play, I am ASD at Zskiller, okay. and I recently finished my internship from Zskiller only. Good. Yeah. So let's jump to our main talk, uh, Sachin. So we'll be focusing on its hiring procedure and its profile, CTC, type, and everything we'll be covering in this video. So let's start with its uh, hiring procedure, uh, Sachin. So since you have been undergone this hiring procedure, so how was your experience? How many rounds were there, and what are the questions you got from the panelist? Just give a brief talk on that, uh, Sachin. What do you? Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. So basically, I was in my fourth year, and I was preparing for on-campus placement. Mm -hmm. And uh, from my DNP, I came to know that Z Scalar is coming. I actually did not visit it our campus, but okay. it was a pool campus drive basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So then we got notification about that, uh, about our first round. So okay. of time we were not of like how many rounds will be there yeah. and all. Okay. So we got the details of first round and we came to know that there will be some coding questions and MCQs okay. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we went to our college, uh, one of the auditorium, then there. We gave our exam. So okay. there were basically 30 MCQ questions. 30, okay. Which were placed on cloud computing, AI, ML, etc. Basically okay. computer networks as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we were given with four coding questions that we have to solve in around one or one and a half hour. One and a half, okay. Yeah, but the catch was that they said that uh, we have to solve it, uh, code it only in Python language. Python, okay. So there was no other options given. Only Python. No, no further. Yeah, just Python. Okay, cool. But uh, I had earlier written articles on GFG in Python language, so I had an idea of this programming language. Mm -hmm. So that's why yeah, I could able to code three completely and fourth one partially. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this was basically now about first round. Then after a week, I came to know okay. that I have got shortlisted mm -hmm. for second round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then details about those second round will be shared with me, like when it will happen and all. So basically, it was a technical round, technical mm -hmm. interview round. Okay. Yeah. Now talking about that, uh, it actually lasts for forty-five minutes to one hour for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he started with my introduction, and then he directly jumped into computer net. Computer. Okay. So one thing is that a deep understanding of computer networks is mandatory for Z scaler, mm -hmm. as it is a cloud security based organization. Yeah. So yeah. It requires in-depth knowledge of computer networks. So we directly jump uh, asking computer networks questions. Okay. So the first question I could remember is he asked me what happens uh, internally when we search any, type any URL on the browser basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started with that. Then he asked me that, suppose we are uh, talking in Google Meet, then which protocol is being used in that okay. round? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it works so this type of uh, some practical questions he asked me. Okay. Yeah, after then some minutes of discussion, then he asked me some questions based on my resume as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then he jumped into one DSC question. He gave me one DSC question. Okay. Yeah. And for that, he assigned me time of, I would say, uh, 25 minutes or 20 minutes he assigned with the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was basically on hash maps. Uh, hash maps. Okay. Java. So I actually used to code in C++. Actually, there was no such restrictions of... Okay, yeah, there is no restriction. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He asked me to record in any of the your favorite programming language. So I coded in C. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I would able to code that in 11 or 12 minutes. So he was like really impressed with that. Mm -hmm. And also, I would say CGP also played a good role for me. He asked me CGP. my CGP. Yep. Yep. It, it was 9.66 for me. So he was really impressed mm -hmm. with that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that was also kind of plus point for me. And then he started asking questions of operating system as well. Mm, like, uh, yeah, CPU setting, CPU setting algorithms and their real life examples as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Then he followed on OOPS as well. Here, there also he asked questions with real life examples. Yeah, right. And he put condition that don't give me the example uh, which we commonly use. 
like polymorphism mm-hmm. and evidence possibly okay. to give some different examples based on some organization level like this okay so that also i could give successfully and yeah and at the end it asked me some basic hr questions like why would you like to join what would happen if you will not convert you to full time and all these things okay mm-hmm. because it was intern plus full time offer for us but okay. uh, yeah but it was performance based only performance all right yeah. so yeah. anything else uh, sachin anything you want to add yeah so basically it was about second round then after that i came to know that third round is also going to happen okay mm-hmm. yeah that was tr plus hr yeah. technical yeah. round plus yeah. hr round yeah. so in that i was basically as about my projects in that the both my books this i already i think made during my graduation okay so he asked me in depth about that and again some hr questions he asked me so it was not lengthy and i would say it is the it was around just 25 to 30 minutes okay. all right yeah so this was all about round and after i guess one month yeah one month later i came to that yeah one month that i have selected for this role and my internship will begin from xyz date yeah so it was all about that so all right so this was all about your interview experience so yes yeah. based on your inputs i will just give a highlight so first will be the assessment and uh, after assessment in assessment it's all about networking and uh, computer networks if i'm not wrong and after yeah. that and you mentioned there was there were four coding question were they in the same round or is it in the next round uh, sachin how was it no they were in first round only first, first round that's just four coding question plus okay. 30 mcq 30 mcq Okay, so how was the uh, portal, uh, Sachin? So like section one, section two. So once I'm done with section one, then only I will be able to go to section two. Like how was it basically? No, no, no. Uh, we were allowed to switch between the sections. Yes, please. Yeah. Alright. So camera was on. No, then code it, then jump to third or second, okay. anything, and happened on hacker end. Yeah. Hacker end. Okay. So camera was on. Web camera was yes, on. Yes. Yes. Alright. So uh, MCQs followed by. 30 MCQs followed by four uh, uh, coding, coding questions. So, do you remember what kind of coding questions were there, uh, Sachin? If you remember. Yeah. So, first questions was like basic. It was uh, some means uh, just conditional statement like box. That was that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, loop box. So, it was kind of easy. Second questions was uh, I think it was binary search on answer. There is one concept. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was based on that. Uh, then third question was also similar to that. Fourth was was on trees. on trees okay super yeah. so only one option was given that was python python yeah for us okay, so these interact these instructions will be uh, mentioned in early stage only correct sachin yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so once uh, the assessment is done next was uh, the technical round and uh, some yeah. questions were asked good but mainly focus was given to computer network yep yep okay so after that to mention there was another round which was like tr plus hr plus hr yeah yes, sir and you mentioned uh, in hr they mentioned like uh, if you didn't convert if we didn't convert you into a full time so what how you will deal so what was your response to that question uh, sachin so just wanted to know how did you respond to that question yep uh, so basically i asked that uh, i told them that i want to join z scaler in this my dream company and i have been preparing for it since long i can do know about this from my fresher so okay. for, sorry from seniors yeah so even if i not get selected then I will for the time being will join another organization, but will definitely come back to join this uh, whenever I will get the opportunity. Okay. So just be yeah. try to be genuine instead of you know framing it. Just try to be genuine. That's what I can. Yeah, say. yeah. So did they ask anything like uh, where you say after five years and what you know about the company kind of questions uh, such in the HR? Yeah, they asked me what you know about Zscaler. This was asked. Okay. So yeah, I have read about it about the products which were used in these scales. So I gave the answer and he was yeah impressed with it. All right. So also mentioned in the previous technical round, uh, there were question from uh, your project, uh, so academic project. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, just make sure about you know insight about everything insight about your project libraries, coding part, outcome, and how that project yeah. is unique from the real world uh, uh, project. Yeah. So just have a proper insight about that. and you mentioned uh, we need to focus on operating system also operating system computer networks and uh, yeah. system design if i'm not wrong system design also uh, no not system design they didn't have system design oh, no. actually okay. no okay. oops was asked yeah and a java concept and uh, oops concept 
as he was mentioning so did they ask to like it was offline right uh, sachin technical was uh, offline no no online 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 only yeah. so did they ask yeah. him to share your screen and uh, put in front of them like how was it yeah yeah, yeah. for writing for writing the code they asked me to share my screen and okay. they have their separate portal, portal. i cannot report the name yeah, yeah no they have their portal there i have to write the code that was my next question but thanks for mentioning that so this was all about uh, uh signing procedure so after one month of time you got uh, the final result select yeah, yeah so one thing uh, let us assume that unfortunately he or she uh, rejected i mean didn't uh, make up to the final round did they receive a rejection mail also sachin how was it no 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 no, no, no rejection. Not rejection yeah just selection mail was being sent all right and you mentioned you have like 9 plus gpa so what was the eligibility criteria for this uh, drive sachin so what was the percentage threshold for 10th 12th and degree uh, what was the yeah for 10th uh, 12th there was uh, i think 60% were there but for graduation 8 cgp was required for yes. our dinner with no bad no yeah, with yeah. no end to bad no yeah. all right so let uh, focus on like before jumping to your profile discussion any thing you want to add sachin are we missing anything Uh, not actually, but yeah, again, I would say in-depth knowledge of computer networks is required, and interview may differ from uh, person to person, like uh, which background they want to hire. For some of my friends, uh, they were asked to create a React app live yeah. in front of the viewers. Yeah, yeah. Because right. they were, I think, hired for developer role, so it depends. It depends on the profile offered to you. Yeah, 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 and we were not actually aware of what role we were going to be hiring. Yeah, right. it depends on interview which requirement they have. in the job description uh, they didn't mention uh, such in like we will be offering so and so role like that it, they just mentioned asc role associate software engineer okay. yeah but inside the qa dev etc roles are there so okay. they didn't mention that. Yeah. all right so i guess we pretty much covered everything about its hiring procedure let's focus on your profile role and responsibilities ctc internships type and stuff and all so what was your profile uh, session offer profile associate engineer huh? Software. Yeah, earlier it was associate software engineer. Okay. Uh, but now, as soon as my internship has came to end, it has converted to ASD, associate software development engineer. All right. So, what was the expected CTC for a fresher prospect? You, such in mention the range. Yeah, CTC would be somewhere in seven figures. All right. So, can I expect between fifteen to twenty-five thousand. All right. So, next, what was that stipend? so what is the stipend expected stipend during your internship uh, sachin yeah stipend was uh, somewhere i would say between 40 to 70k 40 to 70k or is there any bond sachin no no there is no bond okay. that's the best thing i like about it <laughs> okay so let us assume that uh, i i'm from uh, city 1 okay my office is in city 2 so any accommodation facility will be given to a individual uh, sachin how is it Uh, actually, not from their side, but yeah, okay. they will reimburse the amount which okay. uh, yeah. that was. Chala then. So, what else we can add? So, working mode currently, what is the working mode, uh, Sajid? Actually, it's hybrid for us. Hybrid. Uh, three days office, two days work from home. Chala. So, what else we can add, Sajid? Are we missing anything? You want to add points from your end? Any suggestion to our audience? Go ahead, please. Yeah, suggestion would be like uh, focusing on DSA is also required. Okay. Like start, yeah, coding round would have, would not have been possible uh, yeah. without the without having good knowledge of DSA, I would say. So I used to solve problems on lead code as well on Bootstrap as well. So that helped me a lot. Right. So I guess we covered everything. So yeah, guys, in coming days, if we get any update uh, regarding uh, Z Scalar, uh, definitely we're gonna do part two of this video. and uh, i will be attaching sachin's linkedin profile in the description you can connect with him get your doubts clarified and if you're not a subscriber to our channel hit the bell icon and subscribe we also have a telegram community group link is given in the description and sachin once again thank you man for joining us today yeah thanks sachin thanks for calling me out here yeah, and yeah guys this is our stocks in the next video take care